November complete. So welcome back to the channel. As you can see, the tash has gone, but don't be sad because that means that the Christmas PJs have come out. In today's video, I'm gonna be heading down to Tunbridge for my first track session in a hot minute. It's been absolutely ages since I've headed to the track. And on the cards for tonight's session, we've got four by 400, followed by 1200, and that's three sets with um, alternating rest in between. Um, I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, essentially it's taken me a little while to build up the, the strength or the fitness to feel like I'm ready to do proper sessions again. But I've started kind of essentially full on training again, still building the mileage back up, etc. Kind of gone back to normal, just fitness levels a lot lower, if that makes sense. But in terms of feeling like myself, I feel a lot more happy, a lot more healthy. And they're the, they're the key things, right? Because I'm a normal person first and I'm a runner second. So I've always got to look after my, my health first and foremost. The main focus of today's vlog is going to be kind of coming back from injury, coming back from illness. So we're going to ask some of the, the runners down there, see if we can speak to the head coach of Tunbridge, uh, Mark Hookway, and see what if he's got any kind of insights or kind of nuggets of wisdom to impart to us. But um, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to stop my dissertation and uh, get ready to go to training, but I need to eat my banana first. <laughs> so let's get ready. bed just in case mum watches this video. <sighs> Bloody hell, it's freezing. Oh yes, the classic. Can't see sh So we're here with uh, James Kingston, national cross country <laughs> champion, and uh, just just recently qualified for Team GB at the European Cross Country Trials in Liverpool. Yeah. Sum up how that feels. Yeah, it's pretty good. I was after the race, I was not sure because sick, you know, isn't you know, it's not certain. But you know, when I got the call, I was pretty pleased. So. Yeah. You were quite ill going into the race, and you had a bit of a hamstring niggle. How how did you deal with that? How did you keep a level head? The hamstring was alright, to be fair. Like it's it's not too bad, but. Being ill was a bit of a worry. I just didn't know where my body was at. Yeah. Like I was pretty bad the week, like the Saturday before. So it's just about just trying to be sensible and not not try and push my body too hard, and then get to try and run for that place. Really. Oh, good stuff. And uh, you looking forward to Brussels? I am. I'm very much looking forward to it. I hope it's not this cold. Yeah. But Europe, it probably it might be. So. Well, speaking of the weather, what are we doing now? We've come to the top bend. Uh, we've been tasked with seeing whether this bend is too slippy. Okay. It looks alright to me so far. Yeah. Well, I've got my spike. Oh, that, that the step there is a bit slippy. See, I don't have any spikes because I've come from my house in Maidstone. Yeah. I've uh, I've only got the stuff that I have in Maidstone and I don't have any spikes there. So I've, I've only got, like, carbon plated shoes. Yeah, that's not going to be good, is it? Which ones? I've got loads. They're all in the... I can't tell you where they are because I might get them robbed. But... Uh, <laughs> Um, this yeah. is the bit that's usually the worst. Yeah, right? this is starting to get slippy okay, yeah, here. This is, this is slippy. Down now, and I never used to. I've got a, I've got a... 
So guys, that's warm up and drills done. So the session is four by 400 off one minute and then 1200 with two minutes rest, both sides of the 1200. So yeah, 400 is off 60 and then the 12 off two. So yeah, looking forward to this. It's a little bit icy around the, around the kind of back bend. So the 200 meter bend, but you know, it's part of winter. Oh, in a good mood today. Let it continue. Oh, session done. That was a real tough one. I'm really, really chuffed with the paces. That's the fastest I've ran probably since my half marathon in October. Um, so yeah, I'm absolutely chuffed with that. Um, the only thing that let me down was just the, the endurance, just that last set. And that will come. And uh, yeah, just the ability to like, pace myself a little bit better. That will come too as soon as I get that kind of that like, muscle memory even though muscle memory doesn't really exist. All controversial. Um, but yeah, just that kind of familiar feeling coming back in. And I know how to pace myself a bit better. So time to limp back to the <laughs> clubhouse, put some layers back on because the cold really affected the calves in that session. Should have worn tights, but we live, we learn, we love, we laugh. Um, and yeah, oh, proper chuff with that. Big step forward. Oh. Really, really surprised myself there, which is massive. Let's go. It's nearly Christmas. I love Christmas. So we're here with Mark, head coach of Tunbridge AC. How did you uh, think the session went tonight for the group? Well, it was a relief. Yeah. I had some contingency plans because it was so cold and slippery in places. Yeah. And I know what the group's like because there'll always be a few moaners, they're just leaving now. Yeah. But, um, so, <laughs> so uh, I just really need to get through it when it's like that, yeah. Yeah, good stuff. So uh, the main focus of today's video is about kind of coming back from injury or illness and just kind of dealing with setbacks. Have you got any kind of tips for athletes at home that maybe are going through a bit of a setback or an injury? Oh, oh you came prepared. Oh, yeah. it's totally unscripted. <laughs> yeah. First of all, something's not right. Talk yep. to your coach as soon as you can. Okay. Or talk to somebody who's going to give you some sensible advice because so many people just bash on and hope for the best, won't they? So yep. <clears throat> I think that's good just to take stock as soon as you can. Not, you know, as soon as they niggle rather than it develop into a proper injury. Seek professional um, advice or seek some, yeah. some sort of advice. Yeah. Don't take risks. Like 
Rob tonight, he just mentioned the inside of his ankle is a bit sore because he's moving from sprinting to 400, 800 tight running. Yeah. So he's done a little bit more mileage. And we all know yeah. that, that could develop into something quite yeah, nice. Yeah, something so like that, yeah. He spoke to me about it and now he's going home. He's going to treat it in a couple of ways and try it out, do heat patches and stuff like that. So yeah. that's good. That's good um, advice, yeah. Get, get assessed as early as you can yeah. by a professional if you've got access to one, yeah. like yourself. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so get treatment. Um, diligent with the rehab. Crack on straight away. Yeah. One thing that's a, a big benefit to everyone these days is the availability of cross training. Yeah. And I think if you've gone through it once, you've got confidence. But some people are, haven't got the confidence to throw themselves into cross training, get that heart rate up regularly, do what's possible, because you can come back from that pretty quick. So uh, you know, soon be running fast if you if you've done that work rather than just sit around. Hope for the best. Yeah. When you do come back, come back gradually. I think the biggest risk of getting injured is when you're coming back from being injured before. Yeah. <laughs> Funny enough, isn't that? Or, or when you've been ill or down or something like that. You've just got to take it steady and not be influenced by everybody else. Yeah. It's, it's particularly these days, you can just focus on somebody else going really well. And I've got to catch them up and got to push myself to get there. Just take it, try and yeah. be a bit better each week bit by week. Being patient. So, yeah, that's, that's key. Um, yeah, forget where others are. Um, keep doing the prehab yep. or rehab, after, even when you feel a bit better. Like yeah. stretching, Here as James has just been doing. James, yeah, yeah. Always doing it. He knows what's. He's got a slight hamstring issue. It's been bothering him for months, but he's managing it, as you say, don't you, James? So it's good. Yeah. Um, something these days, I'm always amazed how little consideration put people put into their shoes, both in terms of, you know, have they replaced them in the last six months or whatever, if they're getting worn, yep. or are they actually the right shoes for them in the first place? So, yeah, they've really got to think about that. So, you know, a number of people just buy them off the shelf. It's frightening, I think. Yeah. And e even um, some top guys, you know, the carbon plated shoes, don't work your calves as well. No. So when you don't wear your carbon plated shoes, your calves can get really tight and that can lead to all sorts of issues, Achilles, plantar fasciitis, shins, the lot, you know. Yeah. So maybe seek a uh, professional shoe shop person. <laughs> also James. <laughs> yeah, and um, boring bit, eat, eat sleep, re rehydrate well, yeah. look after yourself, be lifestyle has the basics, impact, doesn't it? Yeah. And be really patient when you, when you come back. There you go. All very easy, sensible stuff, but yep. people don't do them, do they? And I think a lot of coaches neglect these sort of things, so it's, uh, yeah. it's good to know you've got it all, <laughs> yeah. all sorted. I think that's where a coach or whatever can really help, because I think athletes are so determined. They just push on, won't they, as hard as they, can. Well, they really want to, and too much for their own good sometimes. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you very much, Mark. I appreciate your advice. Thank you very much. So I'm back from the session, decided to drive all the way home. I was in a really good mood, listening to a good podcast. So I decided to come home today rather than staying at my place in Maidstone um, and then coming back uh, in the morning. So I've got my run up here. I'm going to go through some of the splits and uh, yeah, just talk about the overall session in general because for me it was a real kind of step in the right direction again, um, as I mentioned earlier. To be honest, I, I, I really shot myself. So yeah, it's, it definitely wasn't what I expected today. So um, yeah, it was three sets of four, 400 of 60 seconds, and then two minutes rest um, before and after the 1200 meter rep. For the first set of 400s, I ran 70, 70, 68, 68, and then 341 for the 1200 meter rep. So yeah, pretty decent. Then for the second set, 69, 69, 68, 68, and then 336 for the 1200. So got a little bit quicker. Um, and then I did start to lose it a little bit in the last set, just because I found that that second set 1200 meter rep was just a tad too quick for me um, on the first lap of it. So the final set was 70, 70, 68, 70, and then a 344 to finish off. So overall the 400s I kept really nice and consistent between 68 and 70 for pretty much all of them. But the... The final 1200 meter rep was just a tad slower at 344 but that sort of thing's going to happen and it's something that i'm just going to get better at just from getting back into full training just developing that endurance again so yeah overall 
really, really chuffed with it. Um, it was good to work with some of the boys and uh, yeah, make my Friday night under the lights debut, which is um, a bit of a tradition at uh, Tunbridge. It's not something I can typically do just due to coming home generally on Fridays, coming back to Herne Bay from Maidstone, rather than going the opposite direction to Tunbridge to train. So yeah, it was something that I enjoyed doing and um, we'll definitely look to do that more in the future because I found it super beneficial and I didn't expect to have a session that good this week or even in the next few weeks, to be honest. I thought it'd take a little bit longer to get back to that sort of session. Um, it's still not quite where I want to be, but it's definitely a step in the, in the direction that I want to be going. And that's the main thing, right? So um, I also managed to snag a bit of a Black Friday de uh, deal the other day. So I picked up a pair of the Night Pegasus Turbo Next Nature. So um, give those a go. I did buy them when they first came out. Didn't think they were all that spectacular, so I sent them back. Um, but being as it was discounted down to £58, I believe, thought I'd give them a crack at that, at that price. Might, uh, <laughs> it was uh, much easier to, to kind of swallow, I guess. Yeah, anyway. A great session i came home had a bath dinner tonight was a couple of meal deals just because obviously i couldn't cook i was busy driving and uh yeah just fancied a prawn mayo sandwich so uh that's what i had so anyway thanks for tuning in please like subscribe share the running buddies massive thank you to mark for giving us those tips on kind of how to yes yeah, come back from injury come back from illness I always speak to your coach um, that's kind of what they're there for really so uh yeah anyway i'll catch you in the next one peace